Hi everyone, this is Saragopal. In this video, I'm very much excited to share one most beautiful problem from SSE 2019. SSE means not our 10th class. That is Staff Selection Commission 2019 that took combined high school level examination. Literally, I'm in love with this problem. Why? Because this is another best example how beautifully a problem can be created based on a very simple concept. So now without wasting time, let me introduce the question just like that a concave quadrilateral was given without mentioning any alphabets like naming, just like that a quadrilateral was given in which this length is equal to this length and this small length is 10 and the longer length or longer base is 20 cm. And one more small information regarding angles sum of base angles if you take these two angles together which is equal to 90 degrees that is only the information provided to us and they are asking to calculate the area of this concave quadrilateral so just 10 and 20 was given this length is equal to this length sum of these two angles is equal to 90 degrees so in all possible ways first of all i tried in all possible ways by constructing perpendiculars are joined so and so etc etc in all possible ways I tried but literally after getting the final solution I am in love with this problem that is why I am introducing this problem in our video so now here what I am doing so suppose if you consider this angle is theta definitely this angle whatever it may be the angle you can see here which is more than 180 degrees will be definitely 270 degrees minus theta why because Sum of all four angles should be 360, but sum of base angles is given to us 90 degrees. So definitely sum of these two angles should be 270. If you consider this as theta, definitely this is going to be 270 minus theta. So now here, to calculate the area, what I am doing in all possible ways I tried, but the final thing is taking the replica of this figure and rotating 90 degrees by so that this length coincides with this length now you see so now if you consider this angle here 217 minus theta again theta which gives us 270 degrees completely so now the empty space will makes 90 degrees whose lengths are 10 and 10 here now here what I'm doing again taking the replica of this figure rotating in 90 degrees by placing here so that uh, these two sides will coincide each other so here also we are going to get 90 degrees and this length is 10 again finally I am taking another technique of this figure and rotating 90 degrees clearly if you see this figure you will get more excitement so definitely by looking at this figure you will get the complete answer so area of a required concave quadrilateral is nothing but one fourth of the entire figure or entire shaded part area so the entire shaded part is nothing but area of big square minus area of small square you may get a doubt that how can we say the bigger one is a square so definitely as the sum of these two angles is equal to 90 degrees is given when you are placing this one this uh, complementary angle makes uh, this complete 90 degrees here so the bigger figure is uh, square and the smaller empty space is also going to be square this side is 10 and the here the side is 20 so the area of required concave quadrilateral is equal to one fourth of area of big square minus area of small square area of big square is 20 square area of small square is 10 square simply we get 75 centimeter square is the area of required concave quadrilateral see children this is one of the best another example how beautifully a problem can be created based on a simple concept that is area of square so just uh, i would like to introduce this problem in our video hope you enjoyed this small and beautiful problem so we'll meet in the next video with another topic until then take care bye bye you are like a master of